Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Chopper, and ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an absolutely insane video. A lot of new content is coming out for PUBG, and we're talking about the biggest set of leaks that has ever happened to this game. Now, we've been on an absolute roll with content in PUBG. If you watched my video the other day, that you know that the Desert Eagle is now being added to the game, as well as a bunch of other stuff. If you haven't checked out that video, then make sure you go watch that one too. Now, the new leak stuff that we talk about today is going to absolutely blow everything out of the water. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. And for this video, if you guys ex are excited for the stuff, we're going to go for an insane like goal of 3,000 likes. That'd be such an awesome goal to get. And of course, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure that you do subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this stuff or any future updates that we talk about for PUBG. And so before we dive in and discuss all these leaks, I want to give a big shout out to Player IGN, All the News is Good News, and the entire Datamine Discord. Without all these guys finding these leaks and getting this information out to you guys in the public would not be possible. So I'm going to have all their links down below in the description if you want to show some gratitude. But with that out of the way, guys, sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get into this. So really quick, I want to get some of these smaller or like less important leaks out of the way, just some interesting ones that you guys might want to know about. A brand new backpack skin has been found in the files, and clearly from what this one shows, it looks to be a level 3 backpack. I couldn't really see this being any other one, and this makes sense as all of the level 1 and 2 backpacks have had variants as well, like aesthetic ones, but the level 3 has not seen one yet, and I'd imagine that this is what's going to be when it gets added to the game. However, there is another possibility that's a bit of a long shot. There was an idea that PUBG could eventually add backpacks like that are specific to vehicles so that you can carry more inside of a vehicle, like you and your squad can have extra ammo or meds in there, something that's quite not on your person, but you can pull from that if you need to on that vehicle. However, this is probably not it. It's most likely just a reskin of a level 3 backpack, but we'll probably maybe see that back at some time in the future. I think that'd be a really good idea. Another thing that you guys might find pretty interesting is that weapon stickers are going to be coming to the game, and I imagine this is going to be part of the mastery system as well, similar to the charms, but a little bit different. You can probably wear both on the same weapon. However, this is very, very early concept right now. There's only a couple in the file, so it's probably going to end up being a little while before these stickers finally make it to the game, along with the rest of the collection as well, and assuming this gets integrated into the weapon mastery system. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is a brand new weapon that's already leaked. This is the Uzi Pro, and this one kind of confuses me. Now, this is very similar probably to the micro that we already have in the game, but I think that this is going to be a bit different because the Uzi Pro can hold a sight, it can also hold a grip, as well as a new stock. And so, I guess what I don't understand is, first of all, what weapon class is this going to be, and also what niche is it going to fill, because we already have the micro Uzi, which is absolutely devastating at close range, and then we sort of already have a pistol version, which is the Scorpion, and so I don't really see them making this Uzi Pro into a pistol. I guess it is possible that it could just straight up replace the Micro Uzi, and it's just going to be a better version of it, or it'll be like the Carnadia M24 situation, where both still spawn, but one is just, I guess, inherently better than the other, so that'll be interesting. We'll have to wait and see on that. Let me know your opinions on the Uzi Pro in the comment section down below. All right, moving on. The next leak I want to talk about, I suspect something new is happening to the Armored UAZ, so for those of you who are not aware, when the newest patch comes to the game, the BRDM is going to replace the flare gun airdrop vehicle and it used to be the armored UAZ with the bars but now it's going to be this vehicle however there is a new set of wheels that has been found in the files and they're armored wheels specifically for the UAZ so this makes me think that the armored UAZ is coming back in some form or it's not over yet because as this has been replaced we you figure that it's going to be completely removed from the game but maybe they're going to reintegrate it in some way and it's going to get new armored wheels which would be absolutely awesome also speaking of UAZs it looks like these are going to get an overhaul I suspect this is going to come to the full build of Aaron Gell remastered because something I noticed about the remaster was that pretty much the entire map was remastered and and like you know done over in a new polish but a lot of the vehicles and then some assets seem to be like still stuck in the past or stuck in the old version and they kind of clash they didn't really mesh well together so I think they're going to be redoing the vehicles and all the other assets to make them more fluid with the Arangel remaster and here you can see what this new version of the UAZ would look like you can see that there's a lot more detail on this and, and it seems to be cut out more for an Arangel remaster or just a map with remastered graphics in general and not only the UAZ is going to be getting this kind of overhaul but also it seems the Dacia and probably also the bike. From what I know, this is going to be simply an aesthetic change. They won't be changing the performance of your favorite vehicles in any way whatsoever to my knowledge, but I'd expect every vehicle in Erangel right now to get at least some degree of a remaster or a redo to its model, but uh, it's good to hear they're not leaving any assets behind. Now, moving on, we finally have images for the other two kits that we're going to be getting in the game. So if you don't know, we already have the instant revive kit, which is the hemostatic device or the critical response kit, and then we also have the vehicle repair kit, and if you don't know what those do, I made plenty of videos on that, you can go ahead and check those out as well. And there's two more kits that we're getting, the helmet and the armor repair kit. This is the first one, the helmet repair kit. And what I was talking about my concerns with the other kits before, I really don't think these are going to be a problem. My original concern with these, like the helmet repair kit, and especially the vest repair kit, was that people were just going to stock up on these and be using them every time they just take any damage to their armor. And then there'd really be no risk reward for looting and then fighting players in this game. So I think it would take a lot away from the fun of this, but I really don't think that would be the case as long as this item is relatively rare. 
rare. If you ask me, the critical response kit and the helmet and vest kits should all be in drops. The vehicle repair, I honestly don't mind, and I think that could be a common spawn, and, you know, it really wouldn't affect the game too much, but the, these other three, I really believe, should be, like, very highly rewarded. The way these armor kits are gonna work is that it's gonna have a casting time similar to something like a first aid, and then you're gonna wait a couple seconds, and it's gonna restore the durability on your helmet or your armor, depending on which kit you're using, but I think that if you only have maybe one to two per game, if you're lucky, if you're chasing drops, this is gonna be an item that will add a lot to the game, make it strategic enough, and I actually think these are great ideas for public matches. Now, the critical response kit and the vehicle are already in the game. However, they're only to be found in custom matches right now, which I don't entirely understand the point of that because I, I think that maybe they're just essentially beta testing these and let players try them out within like the confines of their own game. It doesn't affect leaderboards or anything. So maybe they got to be really careful about adding these to the game. They want to do it right. So I can completely understand that. And if it's the same thing with these last two kits, then it, what's going to happen is they're likely going to get, you know, implemented into custom games first, and then we'll see them all in public matches whenever they're ready to ship them. All right, the next leak we got is really exciting, and I honestly cannot believe I'm saying this, guys. The dream is not dead yet. So it appears as of right now that the Riot Shield and the C4 have both been re-added to the files. Now, I wasn't aware that they were actually taken away. I knew that they're in the files at some point, and that's probably when we talked about them, you know, way back in the day. And then maybe at some point down the road, they got removed under my knowledge. But it seems that sometime recently, these two items have both been re-added back in, and that's unbelievable news. We've waited quite literally over a year for the Riot Shield and then almost an entire year for the C4. Now, it's also worth mentioning that the Riot Shield may be only first added to War Mode. That's what it said back in the E3 trailer. Although, since I'd imagine that it's taken so long, maybe they're reworking it and they want to have it in the BRs. That's what most people are going to play it for. From what we last saw, you can hold this in front of you. It maybe works like a pan, but it could probably be broken with enough bullets for balance and uh, you can also shoot your pistol from it as well. So, that's worth knowing. Now, fingers crossed, hopefully we get to see this. I don't, I don't want to make any too drastic judgments just yet, but hopefully this is the time, man. Now, as far as the C4 goes, we know a lot less about the function of this, and so I don't want to speculate too hard on this one, but what I will say is that if both of these get added at the same time, it seems like the C4 is going to be like the absolute antithesis to the riot shield, or basically it'll be the easiest way to take someone with a shield out. Now, whether these items are going to be common spawns or drops, I absolutely have no idea, and I don't want to speculate. I, I, I hope that the shield is a drop thing, and maybe the C4 is a common spawn. I feel like that would be okay. If you guys have preference of how these should be placed, whether they're spawns or drop items, let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. And then another really quick update on a leak, we still have the super energy drink that we're supposed to see at some point down the road. You might remember we talked about this in our last big leak video, and we don't know really too many details on this thing. We've speculated a lot, and you know, a ton of them were good ideas, but we don't have any solid info on what this is going to do in performance and game, and how it's going to be used. It's possible that this is still just a work in progress item, and it's probably going to still undergo a bunch of changes before we see the final build of it, but this is the latest image and the latest news we have of it as of right now. But on a side note, personally, this is one of the items that I've just been the most excited for in, in a long time. Now, moving on to our next leak, we're getting into the good stuff here, and this is a, such a strange item. I have absolutely no clue what to make of this one. So a new tablet has been leaked in the files, and it's called an inductor from what we know. Now, we only have one image of the item, and if you look at it, it looks sort of like a, like a smartphone or even a GPS with like a flat screen, and you can see that the images on this this inductor are all four of the layouts of the current maps in PUBG, and I find that really interesting. What I don't understand about this item is it, it seems like with every single leak, no matter what it is, we can use context clues, whether it's because of the name or the images or just the way that it's laid out, and we can get a at least somewhat of an idea of how they function, you know what I mean? We've done this with every single leak in the past, but when it comes to this inductor, I am like completely stumped. Now, the only context clues we have on this item is the images on screen, which are, of course, the four maps, and we'll talk about that in just a minute, what those could represent. But the, the item itself being a GPS, what doesn't make sense to me is what, what like purpose would this serve in game? Why would you be able to like move to a new map or, or, or like view the other maps? I'm not sure. I was thinking like maybe this item needs to be used in junction with another item that we haven't seen yet and that's not been leaked at the moment. And I, I, I don't know. And maybe the images on the screen are placeholders, but maybe they're not. Now the idea has been thrown around and this is a completely far-fetched idea, but all four of the maps in one playing area and like around 400 players just being the biggest grand battle royale you've ever seen. But I know I, that that probably wouldn't ever happen. But the only other thing I could possibly think of the inductor, if it's not that, or if it's something that we're just not thinking about right now, is maybe this inductor is going to allow you to use a weapon from another map that is exclusive. And maybe not even just a weapon, perhaps a vehicle as well. But for example, imagine like you use this inductor and then you can get yourself, like you can pull the G36 on Erangel or you can use the MP5 on something like Miramar. I know 
that's an absolutely far-fetched idea, but I, I just, I have, I have nothing else. This is the first item in PUBG Leaks history that I just have to look at it and say, I don't know. So what I want you guys to do in the comment section is if you have any ideas for this of what it could be, let me know. But moving away from that, the next leak I want to talk about, we're going to be getting a brand new gun soon. And this is not the Uzi Pro, it's a new one. And, and from what we know right now, it could possibly be a new sniper rifle. The talk of the town at the moment is that people are looking for a sniper rifle that can be like the Kernady or the M24, but that shoots 5.56 bullets. So, you know, the bolts would be a little bit weaker than something like the K9, but perhaps like like the rebolting and the reloading shoots faster and that could be a really nice addition to the entire palette of snipers and people who like using those kinds of weapons so i'll keep you guys updated on that there's there's not just going to be like one or two new weapons that we're getting this year i suspect it's going to be a lot now the next week before we get into the most insane thing in today's video we're going to talk about one more the zombie mode seems to be getting an overhaul that there's going to be new assets added to it and it's going to get an overhaul polish now i'm not sure exactly what they're doing with this one because as far as like the zombie mode on pc it's not a very popular game mode on all. It's absolutely huge on PUBG Mobile, so maybe they're going to try to emulate that a little bit. Admittedly, that's kind of speculative, but we'll have to wait and see when this comes out. And also, with every leak, you can expect a bunch of new streamer skins and, like, all sorts of new weapon skins, such as the Battlestat ones are coming to the game as well, so that's all great stuff. Now, finally, guys, the major leak we're going to talk about today, the biggest thing you guys are here for, is the brand new map leak. Now, this is just no ordinary map leak, and you're going to see why in just a little bit, but it's also possible that you need to consider that the inductor may be a big part of this brand new map. So, some map files got leaked, and this is how it always happens. This is how it started with Miramar. This one got leaked, and it was just called Desert, which is pretty self-explanatory. Sanok was called Savage, and you might remember playing the map called Savage if you played it on the experimental server a long time ago, like over a year ago. And then also, uh, Vikendi, before it came out, was called Dior Otak. Now, the Erango remaster is called Baltic. This is one of the first ones that was discovered, and obviously, we already know this is a new map. We've played it, some of us, and it's no big secret at this point that this is already going to be added to the game. Now, it is interesting that it is called Baltic, and we'll talk about that later maybe in a future video because it might have like some actual storyline and lore implications but more on that later but the other map that was discovered in the files is called forex or i suppose it could be foray if it's supposed to be like a french map and i think context is important here because the way that pubg likes to name their maps is they use words that are like somewhat nonsensical where they're real words but they're also not like for example like sanok is not quite like a real word also dior otak is not a word as far as i can tell and then vikendi is not an actual like grammatically correct but it's very close to the word weekend and even erangel it's not technically a real word it's just simply a play on his on brendan green's daughter's name aaron so with this new map forex it could be taken a couple of of different ways. You could look at it as being like a French map in like Foray and maybe it's something like in France. Or you could look at it like this. Think of the inductor with all four of the maps on the picture. Imagine this new map is just like a combination or a hybrid of all four of these maps combined. I'll be honest, that would be very confusing as a map and I wouldn't really sure how that would be working, but maybe it's like the best parts of all the maps combined in the one. It'd be a very like environmentally clashing kind of map, but I suppose it's an idea. A lot of people seem to think that the inductor and this new map have some kind of correlation and I would tend to agree with that because I don't have any evidence otherwise. So unless somebody in the comment section has an idea of what they think this map is going to be, whether it's going to be a French map or maybe a combination of all of the current maps combined into something new, or of course the third option, it's just something that we're not completely thinking of at all right now. We'll have to wait for more information and context clues to figure out what this new map is going to be. But you like the, the, the code names are tricky and they're a little bit misleading to go off of because I don't think most people would be able to determine that Savage was going to be a jungle map. I mean, maybe to some degree or Dior or talk. I, I don't see that being like a winter map at all. But regardless, we probably have a long time to speculate about this because Aaron Go Remastered is going to be like the new hottest map whenever that gets added to live servers. And that one's basically ready because they've already put it on the test and uh, we assume it's coming in the distant future. And then after that, whatever this Forex map is going to be is likely to be the next map. And so hopefully we get some more information to speculate on that. And of course, if I do get any more info, I'm going to let you guys know on this channel. So make sure you guys stick around if you haven't already. There's been an absolute ton of content coming out for PUBG and I think the rest of 20 2019 is going to be even bigger and so I cannot wait for the rest of this year. If you haven't been back into PUBG in a while, I highly consider getting back into it and uh, you you won't be disappointed. But I'm going to keep you guys up to date with everything new that comes out. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating. Subscribe if you are brand new around here, of course. And also make sure to go subscribe to my second channel if you have not already. Link will be down below in the description. But other, other than that, guys, have a great yesterday and I'll see you all on the next stream or the next video. Peace out.